What's up guys, this is It's Me 64 and today I'm going to show you how you can get unlimited FPS on Minecraft Bedrock Edition. As you probably know, you can alter your max FPS on Minecraft Java Edition. However, on Minecraft Bedrock, you can't do this. Because of this, the max FPS is always capped to 60, and that's a lot. That's why today I'm going to show you how you can change that to make your max FPS higher, or to even get unlimited frames per second. So, because there is no setting in Minecraft to actually change this, you just want to head onto your desktop real fast and ignore Minecraft. Then, you want to hit Windows and R key at the same time, and then type in percent app data and then another percentage sign. Then, you want to hit OK, and then it should bring you to app data which is this file right over here, well, this, this folder right over here. Then what you want to do is you want to head into local, then scroll down and go to packages right over here. And then once you are in this packages folder, you are going to want to search for Microsoft dot minecraft uwp right over here now since there's a lot of folders here you can also just head over to the top right and then type in minecraft and then this folder will come up right here and a few folders will come up you want to sh make sure that you get the microsoft dot minecraft uwp folder once you enter that you want to click on local state games and then com.mojang now something i would actually recommend is to right click this and then to create um to create a shortcut for this as you can see i've created one right there if you want to do stuff like this more often then i definitely do recommend making a shortcut to here so you won't have to go through this process the whole time then once you enter the com.mojang folder you want to head over to minecraft pe this folder right over here and then you will see um, a document right over here called options.txt and then you can just open this up and you'll get this file now it might be that you don't actually have a program that can open up this file. And in that case, I recommend to you Notepad++. As you can see, you can see right over there, I use Notepad++ for coding mainly, um, but it's really great to open files like these um, because it makes things really, really clear um, and easy to use. And now this is just a completely free program and you can get this in the Microsoft Store for free, so you don't need to go to a link or anything, just literally the Microsoft Store installed on your computer. Or you can use any other program that you have. And once you are in this file, you are going to want to find a setting, and these are actually all settings in Minecraft. Some of them you can change, some of them you can't. Um, anyway, you, want, you are going to want to find GFX underscore max underscore frame rate right over here if you can't really find it or you don't want to bother looking for it you can hit ctrl f this will pop up and then you can type in gfx max frame rate and then it'll find this for you right here as you can see the max frame rate is capped to 60 and you can change this up like i'm gonna change it to 80 um, you can change it to 120, of course, depending on how good your device is. Because if your device is pretty trash, then you should definitely not turn this up to 520. Now, I'll also show you a setting that doesn't only allow you to adjust the maximum frame rates, but allows you to get unlimited frame rates. So what you can do is you can hit the Ctrl F again, then hit G, F, X, and then underscore, and then V, sync. Um, that is spelled V, 
S Y N C, then you can hit fight next. As you can see, it'll highlight that for me. Maybe it'll highlight it yellow for you. Um, anyway, as you can see, this is currently one. If you change it to two, I'm not entirely sure what, what will happen, but your game won't run well. Um, anyways, if you change it to zero, you give yourself unlimited frame rates. Now, I definitely do not recommend this, um, because your device will most, most, most likely crash. Um, well, yeah, it's pretty much definitely going to crash, um, because it'll just try and improve frame rates, improve frame rates, improve frame rates, until it's got so much frame rates that it can't handle anymore and then it's going to crash. And you know, I've warned you about this, I'm not going to take any responsibility for anything that happens because of you being stupid, changing your setting to this, and then letting your device overheat or something like that. Anyways, if you do want to do this, which of course you can, um, then I don't recommend it for general gameplay. But, um, well, on my computer at least, I have Xbox Game Bar installed, and I'm pretty sure that on any really Windows computer that, well, on most of them, the Xbox Game Bar will be automatically installed. Otherwise, you can just go ahead and get it from the Microsoft Store as well. Anyway, I can open that by hitting Windows G, and here I can actually monitor my FPS, my RAM, and my GPU, CPU, stuff like that. Anyways, you can use this and change your unlimit and turn on unlimited FPS. You can monitor how high your computer can get its FPS and still run well. For example, you're not entirely sure how well your com how good your computer is. You can just turn this on, then monitor your frame rates, see at what frame rates it still acts well, and then you can change the maximum frame rates to that. But I definitely do not recommend playing with unlimited frame rates. Although. It might be fun. Um, it's definitely not good for your device. Once you have what you desire, of course, you can just hit Control S to save, or you can go over to File and then you can save it right over there. Then you can, of course, just head out of the document out of your folder. You can just click those all away. Start up Minecraft and test everything out. Anyways, I really do not have much more to say. However, if you have any questions, comments, or you think I missed out on anything, then make sure to leave those down in the comments, and I'll try and reply to you as quick as possible. Also, join the Discord, link to that is in the description. Anyways, thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye!